Hello and welcome back to our Heavy Rollers podcast. So normally we would be, we would be doing a review of the third day of the second test against the West Indies. But of course, in true English fashion, we scored 450 and the Manchester rain has come and rained on our parade and not a single ball was bowled. So instead, we have decided to do a, um, a quick quiz. quiz. Of course, I can't be bothered to find real questions, so I've got them off our website because I don't care. You sounded a bit like Chris Cole. My oh, God! Well, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Chris. All right, let's start the screen then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, let's uh, start the quiz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, good news, though. There's no rain for the next couple of days, so we should roll these lot. Uh, that'll be good fun. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, just roll them, bro. Like four hundred and ninety. So, should we first talk about? Well, you, did you want to talk about your, ourselves or? Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting because these ones don't know us. All they see is a bunch of names and a bunch of faces. We've got it's got fifteen subscribers as well, so that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. But yeah, yeah. What do you want to say? Um, nothing. Just chat for a bit. You, <laughs> you, you think... want to say anything about yourself? I mean, uh, going I mean, to this cricket club, we just joined, we've not played any games yet. No, I, I, I haven't even been to a training session yet. Let's just say what, 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 we, what we play. Like. I mean, I've played the club. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty boring club, no one good. So I um, left there, joining another club tomorrow, first session. Well if, you were the best, what... if, well, if you were the best person there, then you couldn't have been that good. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, okay. Every, 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 everyone else is really, really bad. I, I, I'm not good, so um, I'd, I would love to do this. You're an all rounder, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm all rounder. And he wants I, to I like play to for England. Football. He thinks he'll play for England. Uh, I don't think I, I want to play for England. I probably won't. But, like, I mean, you know what? You actually, really have it in your mind that you're going to play for England. Yeah, yeah, I do. Not because I'm actually going to play because I want to play. But I'll push you for it. You can see yeah. yourself walking out at Lords. Yeah, I mean, look, I get there in the first test. Match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> walking out there, I've got like freaking B Tech Dale Stains. The Ashes 2030. And I'll look, I've gone for a pair because B Tech Mitchell Stark has gone through me legs for a Yorker. Like, so I can really like, imagine. I'm now a Yorker. <laughs> yeah, 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 through my legs. <laughs> there we go, back to the video. I can, I can really imagine walking off and breaking my back. Australian tr- Trundler. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Terry Alderman, back again. Yeah, I'd love to play for England. Uh, it's something I want to do. I wanted to do it for a couple of years. I'm working towards it. Uh, I like, I'd like to play county cricket. Um, in a couple of years, four years, I'd like to play county. But you know what? Um, what we should do on this channel is I might just post some updates occasionally every couple of months. We might, you know, if we get. Yeah, they'll be the same thing. I try been... to do like some match day vlogs or something. If we. Can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll do something like that. Uh, if one it of might us. Might not gets be very long because it's hard to get. Yeah. Footage, but, yeah. If if one of us gets a fifer or gets a good score and moves up a level in age group or pretty something, unlikely. unlikely, yeah. But if if, if we get a fifer score of fifty, we'll put it up. If say I move up an age group, something happens, something interesting happens, yeah, and move if we're up wicked, a level to regional. And if we're um, wickedness and we get out for a dunk, then we won't put it up. Yeah, because then, uh, actually no, I would throw it off, but yeah. <laughs> we should. And that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, we should. that's, we're not going to get any good performances that we're going to put up. No, Double because n- no one wants to see us, I know, no one. It's not fun watching people do well, mate. Exactly. That's boring. Uh, you know, I know, us but, coming back to the pavilion going, oh, I wouldn't have hit another set. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's the 50 people watching this. Yeah, yeah, the 50 people watching this want to see us get out for a golden duck, not hit a 200 ball 176 not out, do they? No. no. Exactly. No one wants to see me take the seven from. They want to see me get carted. Exactly. They want to see you get yeah. carted. Exactly. I, you well, want to see me get carted first as well. the best. You want to see me get a I, first ball? I have no hopes of playing for England because I know I will never play for England. And, 
Well, I mean, I reckon Jim. you're better than me, mate. You're better than me. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not you, 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 you say you're really good, so I, I'm not sure. Should I mean, I say I'm really quiz, good. Then, yeah. But, well, yeah, should we start? Should we start the quiz then? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Please not, getting, so, please not getting bored of us talking about ourselves now. I, I'm so is serious. everyone going to wait? Do you have the answers oh. on there? Yeah, I've got the answers. I've got the answers. So Make you're not sure going to play then. You're just going to be the quiz master. Yeah. Okay. Make yeah. sure that you put your answers to the questions in the comments so we can. And don't uh, you skip to the end and then come back and write all the answers down to you. Say yeah. 100%. Yeah. Well, if you get this in a live premiere, yeah. then we could do that. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do, so just an update on the channel, uh, we'll probably do some match day vlogs, obviously more test match reviews, ODI reviews, we'll do a bunch of that, we'll do more quizzes, we Maybe might do a couple of live streams, good, yeah, we might do some live YouTube streams, free. we might move on to Twitch in a, in a bit, I don't know, just thoughts, ideas we've just got running for a minute. Mean, we're not eligible for monetization, so. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. So we're not going to do your money grabs. Yeah, we, yeah, okay, start the quiz, start the quiz. No, but are we going to do, um, shall I do all, shall I do one question and, and then the answer to that question, or just the questions and then the answers right at the end? Question and answer, maybe. Just, just do question and answer. And what, you know, what you could do is ask someone, they get it wrong, you pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, right, question one. We'll work it out as we go along. Or we'll just do, you can go, yeah, yeah. We're organised, we'll work it out as we go along. Okay, so, question one. The first official international match was held in 1844. But who was it between? Was it between India and Afghanistan, England and Australia, or the United States of America and Canada? So who's going to answer? Uh, Can any of us so, answer? Uh, this is Zach's question. Right. I actually should be this. It's, and it's, it's actually three. the USA and Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is correct. It is the USA <laughs> and so Canada. Right, so I've got one point. This is That's so great. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep scores of uh, <laughs> all the. Uh, no disclaimer. None of this is serious. If you're being serious about this, just why? Honestly. Um, okay. Yeah, Uma's question now. Yeah. Okay. I can't if wait. If I to got that know. wrong, then you can let you, then you can let the other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So now. Question two is for Uma. Um, the ICC Cricket World Cup reduced the number of matches from 60 to 50 in the year 1983, 1987, or 1992. Wait, so they were what? How many matches? You what? So there used to be 60 matches, and then this year they changed it from 60 matches. Michael Byers here, lads. He gets an easy question. I get a hard one. So they changed easy. it from 60 to 50. <laughs> 50. Yeah. Uh, you've, got, you've got three options. 1983, 1986. Yes. Oh, so what? When did they change it? Uh, I have yeah, no when clue. Yeah, when did you? But I, uh, I, I don't even think. 87. So, no, it wouldn't have been 87. It might have been 87. It's really hard. You're never going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not this. You're just gonna have uh, to get at least you got I, options. I yeah. don't think it's 83 because I was what? Is there any World Cup? Was there, any, there was, I think there was a World Cup 83, wasn't there? Wendy's won the first two, Clive Lloyd. There was a World um, Cup all of those years, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you, and there wasn't any. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 83, no, I think 83 and 87 wouldn't have been because they probably found a new format. I'm gonna guess 92. It isn't 92, so Zach, you have what to is it? So it's 80 through 87. Yeah. yeah. Um, they changed from 16 to 50. No, 16, no, 16, 16 matches. Oh, what is it? Um, I'm going to say 87, just guessing. Yeah. And that is correct, 87. Well, it's a bit wow. of a lucky one, but I'm too nervous. Yeah, yeah, pretty lucky. Good. yeah. A bit lucky, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, it's my question again. Yeah, it's your question yep. again. Oh, in, the two, in the 2007 ICC Cricket World Cup, India scored the highest World Cup runs ever against Bermuda, Zimbabwe, or Sri Lanka. In 2007. Easy, easy one. Easy I'm going to say Bermuda. Easy one. Yes, it is. That, that was an easy one. That was the Dwayne Leverock catch. Dwayne Leverock one. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. the Dwayne Leverock catch. You were going to say that. Yeah, yeah. 
absolute beauty. But then they got one wicket and then it was like, you got to get another nine wickets. <laughs> you got to get another yeah, nine lads. wickets. And then they did. Well, no, they didn't. Uh, then they scored four, 500 or whatever. Um, stupidly big. Well, three nil to me then. It's pretty good. <laughs> it, it, it's quite fair, as we can see. No, well, okay, this is... It's quite, a fair system. I mean, you were just getting the whole question. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, fine. This is an easy one. Let's go okay, get... I'm surprised oh, my no. brother wouldn't hate me this week. Actually, like, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Harold... Oh, Burke, he's your brother. He's your brother. Huh. Who knew? I didn't did know that one, mate. We did say that yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. No, we didn't. No, we no, implicitly, we implicitly. <laughs> yeah. We implied a bit. Eh, okay. I mean, if you want to brother. reveal it. Okay. <laughs> question 10. A uh, question. Uh, question 10. Two for, two for Uma. Getting a bit ahead of yourself. Harold Bird is best known as his in his cricket career as a batsman, an umpire, or a bowler. What's the name? Harold Burns? Yeah, this, if you Harold think Bird. Bird, Bird. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I Harold this is Bird. Very, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Sicky Bird. Oh, that's easy. Sicky Bird. Yeah. To the man. That's an easy one. Yeah, who could forget yeah, yeah, yeah. it? You get your oh, first one. point. No Okay, <laughs> so, Zach, now, three one up. This is the question now. Which country holds the record for the most consecutive losses without a single victory in an ICC Cricket World Cup. Easy, is England. Canada, Zimbabwe, or Bangladesh? England. Wait, no, no, it's not losses <laughs> of the cup, it's, it's losses of like, <laughs> in the actual game. It's definitely. So, wait, Bangladesh, Zimbabwe, or? Canada. Or, Bang or Canada. Mm, I think, okay, I know what it is. I know what this one. It's pretty hard. Did you looked it up? No, I haven't looked it up. I'm going to say Bangladesh. I'm a cricket nerd, mate. I know this. It isn't Bangladesh, so Uma, you have the chance. How would you know this? I, d I don't. I was just putting it Okay, off. so it's either Canada. Um, Canada's or... in World War. Canada have only been in World World Cup. They've only been in one, which was in oh, 19 something. 19. No, it would have been 1996 or 01. I'm going to go Zimbabwe just because they've been in more World Cups. They actually do win games. They're not that. It is. Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, yeah. Because they've been in more World Cups than Canada. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They've only been in about one. Yeah, exactly. Zimbabwe have been like three or four at least now. Oh, it's your okay. question again, Uma. Yeah, it's levelling the scores, yeah. maybe. You can level the scores with this question. Uh, yeah. The first cricket laws were believed to be written in 1709, 1774, yep. or 1882. Uh, I'm going to say... See... I, we did, we went, went to virtual tour of Lords a couple of months, a couple of weeks ago, didn't we, Zach? So we did this. Yeah. And I can't remember what it is. I know the MCC made it. What the options? It's not the first one. Yeah, 1709, 09. 1774, and 1882. See, the first international game was in 1880, 1780, 1880? Was it? We, we actually had a question that was your, yeah, was Zach's yeah. first question. I think it was 18... 80 something between England and Australia. Yeah, but this so is about first, when this is that first. Time. Yeah, it's about, about the Lords. No, no, not Lords. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, the Lords wouldn't be written 180 years before the first game. That doesn't make sense. No, it's Test. They were already playing games. Yeah, yeah, but first Test match. We need rules for that. So. Yeah, but in, 17, in, seven, in the 1700s, Australia didn't even exist. Exactly. So I'm gonna go. Fully sent them. The middle option. 17, whatever. 1774? Yeah. Well, that is the correct answer. Yeah, yeah. I knew oh. that. I thought the scores um, are all thought, tied up. Yeah. I thought it would got. You've come back, haven't you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right then, Zach. Your question. Um, what is the slang term for a ball? That is regarded oh as unplayable by a batsman because it is bowled well. Is it called an inswinger, an over, or a jaffer? A jimmy. <laughs> it's called a jimmy. <laughs> it's called a jimmy. Yeah, then we should stop. I think that. it's a jaffer. It is indeed a jaffer. It's a jaffer, but it should be. I would get that wrong. But... <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jaff's you would. Like jaffer from Archer. You, you don't bowl very many of those, do you? So you wouldn't know much about them. Anyway. No, I wouldn't. 
Yeah, I, I would leave. I don't know why I'm commenting, but anyway. Um, Your leg side delivery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a fed delivery about 20 miles outside of leg stomp. That's uh, why I want to be a test match player, because I can bowl, I can bowl massive wides and not get called. Okay. Right then. So, Uma's question now. Which bowler has the greatest innings figures during a test match? Is it Shane Warne, Anil Cumble, or Jim Laker? Laker, 19 for against Australia. So you're going with Laker? Old Trafford, 1958, I think. You actually remember the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1958, yeah. Yeah, 1958, yeah, you were like, Yes, Jim Laker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laker. I think that's the only time a, a bowler's got 19. Yeah. yeah, I think the closest... They get all 10 in, a week, in an innings is... Oh, that's just ridiculous. It in itself. I think the closest we've come is in County. I think. 17 for... Yeah. I mean, it's pretty amazing. In a test match. Hey. Getting over 10 is pretty good. Yeah. Very good. Lord's honours war, anyone? All right, then. Okay, Zach's question now. It's still 4-4. Four, four. So it's been a very close game. quiz so far. No, it hasn't. He was 3 in a lot, mate. Oh, he's 4-4. Oh, it's 4-4 four 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 now. 4-4 now. Oh, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Okay. Yeah, that's an impossible question. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> in what year... Was the laws of the game change to state that a batsman is not allowed to have a runner? Was it in 2010, 2011, or 2012? What? They're not allowed a runner. <laughs> that is. Yep. What do you think? They are allowed a runner. They are allowed a runner, though. They are. No, I they think obviously it's been changed it back. It's been changed back now. It's been changed back now. Why would they make that rule? <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's just a bad idea. Because they were like, they're standing off. on one leg and they couldn't, and they couldn't walk and they were still bad. Steve yeah, Walk. Steve Walk. Uh, right, so what year was it? 2010, 2011 or 2012? So, so difficult. Um, I would say 2010. You've got to think of matches. Um, he said 2010. Before, he said 2010. You said 2010? Okay. Um, it is actually 2011. Oh, I'm, I'm just giving it away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, that's my point. It's not your no, it's point, not. that's not fair. <laughs> no, I was saying Any that. You should have the thought. end is going to give me a point. No, I'm not going to give you a point. <laughs> you wouldn't have got that. I mean, I want to just guess 2011, it's the middle option. Always guess B. It doesn't make a difference, though. It doesn't. It's not like the closest answer wins. Oh, yeah, but guess B. Um... All right, okay. I may, I may or may not be Betsy stole this comments. point, but okay, we'll move. Yeah, next question for Uma. Yeah, this is my question. Okay, Uma. My point. So, the highest score of Sachin Tendulkar in his international career is 238. Oh my god, I don't know. Or 258. He's definitely, he's definitely scored over 250. Can you look it up? No, I can't look it up. No, you're I'm not, not looking at it up. I'm not, you I'm have not to have like a time up. limit, so you just don't go. No, this is going to be a section in English. Wait, so is this test ODI, T20, not T20, but test ODI, any... I think it's tests. It's tests. No, no test is... It's first class score, wasn't it? Test is gone over 300, hasn't it? In international it? cricket, in international cricket, so it would be in test. No, it's 300. not. I don't think it has got over 300. Surely it has. It's actually, mate. It's got over a... I, I don't imagine him not getting 250 in his test career. I just don't see it not happening. I'm so, going go to go 258 because that's the most Sachin thing I can think of. Well, it actually isn't 258. So, um, Zach, it, you have the choice. So it's 248, 258, 248 or 248. 248. So, 238. Or 248. I'm going to look this one up now. After I'm the it's not cheating. Oh. I'll answer the question. I'm going to say 248. 248? And that would be correct. 248. Let me check this. Hold up. Quick yes. info. That makes the score 5. Yeah, it is 248. That's such an unsatching thing to do. Get out two <laughs> runs before a fifth, 250. Yeah. Okay. So I'm surprised he's actually surprising. He hasn't got his triple century. Like, 
I mean, if Warner's got, got, got one. Warner's got one. Warner got three three five against Pakistan. But... Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Zach's <laughs> question. Uh, Zach's question. Start my point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, double question. So, um, in an LB, uh, in an LB in an LBW decision, Seems um, the ball must hit. What? That's what, what he says. Proportion of the stumps. So that it, so that the decision is not overturned. <laughs> oh, I think I know this actually. For all of the ball. It's half of the ball. It's half, half of the stumps. It yeah. is indeed half. It's so half. It's half. Yeah. Right. I think there was a massive debate in the game where Atherton and Matt were saying around a massive debate about whether half the ball was hitting leg stump or not. And they, went, one, and they went on this one DRS hour. decision though that they gave umpires call. And it literally, right? Yeah. It, it was it hit the middle of the leg stump, and it was that um. Was just, that was just gave weird, it umpires it? call because it was it wasn't hitting. They did it by the middle of leg stump. It's supposed to be the outside. It was like really. Yeah, that was, that was a weird one. I think that was just that, I don't know. It must have been I a mean, mistake. Though. Yeah, yeah it must have been. I must hate to be the reviewing team there. I, I would just hate it. But it's just stupid. You know that it's, it's not just. Yeah, you give it on it's just, school like that. It's just a weird one, you know. Yeah, All right, question, 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 question. Right, so it's six four it's to me, by the way. If anyone yeah, wants yeah, to yeah. stop, solve my point. Yeah, I know. I've got the scores here. So, um, the le- in this question now, the legendary batsman Brian Lara scored yeah. four hundred not out in a test yep. inning in Georgetown, Manchester, or St John's. Oh. I know this. I knew this without looking at the answer. Now, you watched something about him today, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I watched something about him. I remember the year where he scored it against. I don't remember. I remember. You only need to say which whether it was in St John's, Manchester, or Georgetown. I mean, it was obviously not in Manchester. Scoring above a hundred in Manchester (laughs) is impossible. Well, we've seen we've seen two in this. I know. I know. Yeah, it definitely was in the Caribbean. But yeah, flat, flat track. Absolutely. If you get this wrong, basically, I've got this. I <laughs> oh, just something says Georgetown to me. Going it's Georgetown. It's, in it's George. Is Georgetown even a real place? Yes, yeah, in Guyana, I think. Uh, I think it's one in Antigua. Actually, I think it's one in Antigua. I'm probably the. So you're going to John's then. I'm going to go to St. John's. I've got it wrong, but I'm going to go to St. John's. It is actually St. John's. Hey. So it and you know who England. scored against? England. Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay, well, it would, it would have to be England. Yeah, it, it would. It couldn't have been anywhere. It had to be England. Just to rub it in. How bad we were. Just hit 400. We that were, was a period where... And they were... They, no, the West Indies were rubbish then as well. And that was a period where Hayden and Laura got about, I think Hayden got 3 9 1. Laura was the only good player in the West Indies team. Then. That was off. Yeah. They, that was, that, that was off the bit. Their era was done by then. Yep. I think that was the period when Hayden and Viv got about four world records in the space of about three or four months. Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. He, he kept taking it back from Hayden. Yeah, yeah. I think Hayden scored 3 9 1 or something. Yeah, 380, I think it was. Yeah. It was something really crazy. Yeah. All right, then. They declared when he got to 400. Yeah, they did, they did. Well, obviously. The match yeah. was drawn in the end. Yeah. I mean, I'm also, I think it was on 980 something in that game. Yeah, it was like 700, I think. Something ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. So, next question for Zach. The highest team total record in Test match cricket oh, is 903. 952, 900, or 978. Right, I know there was a 903. That was the Len Hutton match. Yep, yep. But I'd, I do remember there being a 952. I can't remember what team it was, but I do remember that. It was England, I guess Australia. 18. It was actually quite recently, I'm not sure. No, I you can not get No, I think it was. I think it was like... Quite recent, 1887. 
something like that. No, I don't. I can't. I don't. I don't know what. I'm it's eighteen. It's eighteen eighty-seven. I'm going to go nine hundred fifty-two. Yeah, well, that's what I would have gone. Yes, there was one. It was uh, yeah. nine hundred fifty-two for six declared, and that was Sri Lanka versus India in nineteen ninety-seven. I did think it was. You what? Nineteen ninety-seven. What it says 952 here? for six declared. Yep. Wait, was it India or Sri Lanka? Is... It was Sri Lanka versus okay. India. Wait, you scored it though. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. That is ridiculous. I mean, they had Sanger, but that wasn't that the 326 partnership then? But also like two days. No, um, no it's Sanger and um and um who was it? J. O. Wardena. You know. They they J. Wardena, yeah. Yeah, they had a partnership of six hundred and twenty eight or something. Well, that's just insane. Here we are going on about Stokesy and Sydney two sixty. Six hundred and twenty eight, I mean it's pretty I must hate I would I would, I would have hated to be an England fan an Indian fan in that test. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's Uma's question now. I mean, most teams declare before they get to that. So. No, no, it's most Uma's teams declare before they 300. Yeah. It's Uma's question now. Hello. So, which umpire is well known, or was well known, for his distinctive signalling style? Was it <laughs> Richard, is it Richard Kettleborough, uh, no. Joel Wilson, or Billy Bowden? Billy Bowden. Curved finger out. Yes, yeah, it was mm. Billy Bowden. I believe it's seven six now. That was pretty obvious. Yeah. Wait, do I have seven in this call? Yeah. Yeah, seven, but uh, DRS says I've got a twenty. So uh, yeah. <laughs> rely it's it's yeah, umpire's, umpire's, cool, umpire's cool, umpire's cool. It it umpire says Joe Wilson's umpiring in the race around it. So yeah. it could really be anything. <laughs> okay then. So uh next question, this is Zach's question. Who is the only British Prime Minister to have played first class cricket? Was it Winston Churchill, John Major, or Alec Douglas Home? I actually know this. Well, of course, of course you do. Alec Douglas Home. Yeah, it would yes. be. It is Alec be. Dub be. Douglas Home. So that's another point for Zach. He was um, Prime Minister at some point as well. Yeah. I think so it's we're going to have one more question. Oh, I, think, okay. I believe uh, Zach has What do you want to do first to 10? Well, yeah, okay. ten. How quick yes, do you want to do first to We've run out of questions. But, uh, <laughs> Just make your own we'll up, Dave. Make your own questions. up. Yeah, yeah. We'll find more somewhere. somewhere. The deep, dark depths of cricket, but will tell us a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely well, some. There's a lot of... Um, So he's and we return. For, um, quiz, quiz, so, quiz questions. Yeah. We Uma's, return, but you wouldn't have noticed we left in the first place. Uma's uh, question now. It's currently eight, seven, eight, six to that. Eight, eight, seven. Yeah, I'm fine with eight, seven. So we can, can keep going. We can we do first to ten, or we can um, keep going. What should we do? Should we do first to ten? We'll do first, we do first to ten because yeah, keep going. Ten. Yeah, it would go on for okay. too long otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I just so, keep saying it. I want to know who that one is. So, Uma's question now. So, Uma, Ben Stokes made his test debut for England in which year? Wait, is there no multiple choice? There's no multiple choice. Oh, I, don't no. know. I don't know. I know roughly what it is, but I don't know exactly. I know it was a D20 game because he really was called up for Cardiff. Against someone, just I just have absolutely no clue. I'm gonna well, look. Rooty debuted in 2012, and I think Stokes had debuted after him. So I'm gonna say 2013. It is 2013. It is. All right. That's good. I don't know how you got that. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's about, it would be about that time, though, wouldn't it? I, I, I was thinking 2012, 2011, 12, 13, roughly that, I just spent for the last one. Okay, Zach's question now. Which first class county club did Phil Tufnell play for? <laughs> I don't know this one. I've, I've, I've talked about Tesla Special. Um, I don't know, I've forgotten it. This is a complete guess. 
I'm going to say Gloucestershire. It's definitely wrong. That, that's definitely wrong, yeah. That's not it's, wrong, so Uma, you can steal it and make the scores level. It's either Leicester or Kent. So what are you going with? No, I say it's none of those two. It's going to be none of those two, and I'm already, I already know it's not. Well, you really need to get this question right, I. Yeah, I do, don't I? You can make it level. I've never got... heard of, of the cat playing for Kent, you know? He's not what you think of, so I'm going to go... Leicestershire. It was actually Middlesex. Was... Oh, no, it was, oh. wasn't it? Oh, my word, yeah, it is! Right. Yes. We're both absolute numpties, that's what we are. That's, yeah. We're both absolute aunties. Still eight, seven. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. I've actually read so many stuff about it. Okay. I've read so much stuff about him to get things out of the field. Yeah. So it's currently, it's still eight, um, eight seven. Eight, My seven question, levelling the scores. Boomer's question now. You can level it with this yeah. then. <laughs> I'm not levelling it. I'm not levelling it. Who has won more series of the Ashes? Was it England or Australia? Australia. It's definitely it Australia. It is Australia, yes. Oh, you've like got that nice, more. easy question. <laughs> yeah, that, that's well, a really easy question. Keep the that is actually quite, I would have got that as well. Yeah, that, that was a really easy question. And I'm just saying, it if obviously you both, wasn't going to be England. If you both get the next two questions right, both Zach of your wins. next two questions, because it's 8 8 now. So that Zach one, wins. We have that to do a tiebreaker then. Yes, we have to we'll do it for a fun time. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Shall I leave the questions? <laughs> well, do you got to win by two points? Let's make it not rigged. All right then. So if Zach gets Zach. this wrong, then I can basically win. Yeah, you can win. So it gives me a nice, easy question or not? Zach, give him a hardy, mate. Give him a the one. really hard question. Give him, a Jaffa. <laughs> give him a Jaffa. How many days did the longest recorded Test match last? Oh, I think I know this one. Oh no. I think. Wait, no multiple choice, right? No, no, no. No, no multiple choice. I think I know what it is. Right, I'm going to have a guess. I, I've Something in my head is saying that it's 11 days. And I don't think it is, but I'm going to say 11 days. I think it's not 11 days, so Uma, you have a choice. Um, I, 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 I thought 13. I thought 13 days. I think that's what it is. You're going to go with 13? I'm going to go with 13. It was actually nine days. No! Oh! That was England oh. versus South Africa in 1939. The only reason the England players left was because they had to go on the ship on the way back to England. That's the only yeah, that, yeah that's actually home. true. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's they had to go the home. the only yeah. reason. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the only reason they stopped. All right, then. It had to be a long time ago. because they... 1907. It should bring back yeah. timeless tests for, like, to say yeah. really cool. They should, that would be so much fun, just watching simply grit out a 976 not out of like 3,000 balls. That would honestly be really good, like. Yeah, that would. Set. For the size, it would make it so more exciting, like, and say, it means you never have a draw, which is really exciting. Yeah, and then we can explain they to They would Americans. bore it out yeah. for a long time, like, they would literally <laughs> just block and leave. And... Yeah. All right then. Right. So, Uma's question now. I can steal this and I could win. No, you're not stealing this, man. No, you're, it's, it's still a all. It's still a all. Give me an easy question. question. Yeah, yeah, Give me so, a nice half volley, half volley. I'll take one. Uma's question. NASA Hussein last captain the England test team in which year? Uh, I read this. I read this. Oh, no, actually, I might not know this. Uh... He captained the England test. He he captained the England testing past two thousand and three for certain. He scored last innings was a century at Lords second test. Uh, I think it was. It was before. Oh four, I think it was oh four. Two thousand and four. I think it was. That's when he retired. So that's what I know. I yeah. think it was 04 or 03. Right so what are you going for? I'm going, I'm going for? I'm going for 04. Okay. I'm feeling. It's it 04. isn't 04. Yeah, so it's... Zach, you have a chance to steal it. Because I know he retired in 04, but he obviously stopped. I don't, obviously I don't, I don't know. I, I don't Definitely know. Definitely past 2000. Definitely, yeah. 
I'm going to say oh. Oh, 02 or 03. I know what it is. Oh, it's so annoying. I should have gone. I'm going to say 02. Oh, I... Going with 02? Bugger. <laughs> it wasn't 02. Oh three, oh three. It was oh three. It was oh three. I've got oh two and then didn't get oh three. Oh my word! Oh, oh, my um, God. God. That was so annoying. <laughs> Both of us failed. So, Zach, your question you. now. Oh my still word! Still eight all. I mean, it's still eight all because we're not very good at this. How? Okay. I'm way harder than the first ones. Zach, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the getting, it's getting tougher now, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. Zach, your question now: How many runs did Jack Leach score during his iconic second innings with Ben Stokes during the 2019 Ashes third test? You're kidding me! You're yeah. Kidding. I can't do. I'm gonna do. Hey, that's so easy. <laughs> he's sort of just giving me the win, but okay. It's no, the I'm old not. tuck off the. Yeah, hips. I think he scored one, didn't he? It's the old tuck off the from Leachy of Cummins. Into the leg side. He did, yes. The food fight leg eight, eight, But it's still, I need to find another. Probably that somebody watching us so who don't even know that. So <laughs> that was so easy. I watched the entirety of that test match. Well, I then, watched, we only watched it when we got home. Like we were out. I was the entire thing. We just came so, back and saw him scoring. They oh need my god! That's so annoying. So, I can call it. What I've got this advantage here. Um, so the quiz it, was related. It's it's <laughs> not it's not fair. Well, right, well, I'll give you a bit of an easy question, Emma. No, so, no, it's gonna be hard. Give me your question. Oh, no. The Big Bash League is based in which country? Uh, Australia. Correct. Well, hey, that was pretty hard. I thought that so was first. It's nine all, and I'm gonna have to find another quiz because I've run out of questions again. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Recording. And okay, question. Then. Okay then, Zach, it's your question. So if you get this question right, then it will be 10-9. But since you went first, it wouldn't be fair. So then Uma has to get that question right. You say that, it's been pretty biased so far, so it doesn't really matter about fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Proper salty so, Rob Key here. So, Zach, which of these players did not play county cricket for Somerset? Was it Vic Marks? Brian Rose, Alan Lamb, or Chris Tavar? Chris Tavar. Um, Vic Marks, Brian Rose. I, I, I think know Brian so. Rose definitely played for Somerset. Yeah, Vic Marks did, definitely yeah. did. Um, um, who else was it? Alan Lamb. I, uh, I, I know some. And um, who was the last one? Chris Tavar, you know, the man who scored three up like 97. In like four hours, I'm saying Chris Devore. Yeah. Okay, right then. That is it's wrong, isn't it? That is, I think that's correct. I think that oh, is. Oh, it's not work. Wait, stop the call. No. Okay, so I got it. Okay. Okay. Right. So Where what's the answer then? Don't say the answer. Was it Chris Devore? Is it? It wasn't actually. It wasn't him. So, Uma, oh, you have a chance to win oh. this question. What? Wait, he can win? Oh, yeah, he can win. He can win. Friggin' foe, I need your help now. I was going to raise a call with... Eight. Okay, uh... Stop looking it up. I'm not... Uh, my hands are here. I've got my hands up. My hands are up. So, it was Mark. Don't shoot. Um, don't shoot, don't shoot. Vic Marks. Who else was it? Um, Vic Marks. Alan Lamb and Brian Rose, we said. Uh, Alan Lamb? It is Alan Lamb, isn't it? Alan Lamb? Final answer? Yeah, it's Alan Lamb. It was Alan it's Lamb. Alan Lamb. Way. So, Uma! I'm going to be yeah. three. from Northampton shit. I just looked that up. Yeah, yeah. Uma sure. was behind 3-1. And he three nil. And so you win because um, yeah. Three nil behind, and he's come back to win this quiz. Not that anyone actually cares. And um, even though the uh, the quiz master may have been uh, may have been accused of being biased at times, which I think still is lost. Joke. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly he won anyway. Right, it? So congratulations. What does that show? Does it show that he got easier questions, or does it just show he's a cricket nerd? 
Uh, I definitely a cricket nerd. Questions wise, I mean, they've got a couple of toughies. We both got quite a few tough ones, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it was pretty fair. It was quite. Yeah, it's yeah. a good. It was a good test, actually. Yeah. 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 Don't By worry. the way, tomorrow. If you got hundred percent, you're clearly a cheat. So there yeah. we go. You're clearly a cheat. Yeah, I, I was very glad to see that none of you were cheating. Well, none of you were cheating. So very yeah. pleased. So my hands were up the entire time, apart from yeah. when they were. I'm also very pleased that um, didn't I wasn't well. doing the quiz because I definitely would have would not have got any right at all. So um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll test you in a cricket knowledge next time with celebrity mastermind. <laughs> Or next time a there's a rain de- next time there's a rain delay on and the whole day is washed out. Yep. So the final score of next week cricket quiz. Zach with nine points and Uma victorious with ten. Oh, so but so the, the Spurs lack of running around trophies is clearly still continuing. Zach has yet Spurs might have yet to win a trophy. Yeah. Just saying, from the Aldi Cup. just saying tomorrow, if there's play, which I think there is supposed to be, Should be. we'll be there. Weather's, weather's good. With a match review. Um, we just did this because, well, we couldn't really we bored. Need to review. And we, and we were bored. We want all of you and, to yeah. subscribers to watch our videos and not feel disappointed. So we hope you enjoy that quiz. Um, and also, also comment well, on whether I was biased or not. I, I yeah, we want, some, also, we want some comments, likes subscribes all of that but please comment the last yes week, comments comment. were turned off for some reason but we're no off. reason though all you are from reddit uh cheers 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 lads thanks for the support um and yeah. go check out more quizzes from our totally not sponsored sponsor the cricketer <laughs> cricketer i mean they, they, they do have some very good um quizzes i, I did some this morning yeah, just thanks, thanks to Zach Trappett and Ankush Singo and John Smith for all subscribing. So yep. keep up in my notifications. So thanks, guys. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, I think we'll see you tomorrow.